Just good catching up with the number fourth ranked light heavyweight in the world, Jan Blahovic, who's got a lot of things to say. We have the title fight book now between Alex Pereira and Cleo Roundtree. I know he has some thoughts on that. And we've got to get an update on his health. Uh, Jan, how are you doing this evening? Thank you. I'm good. I'm, I feel great, you know. Uh, my shoulders are almost, almost, almost perfect, so I'm happy because I'm back to the gym and I train very hard, so everything is, is good. I think a lot of us, including yourself, were very surprised to see that Alex Pereira's next title defense will be against Khalil Roundtree. I'm going to read the tweet you had here. With all due respect to Khalil, there are at least two higher-ranked contenders who are ready to fight Potent. He doesn't need special protection. I'm assuming you meant you and Mangomed and Kalaev, or are you referring to someone else? No, I'm thinking about Magomedov and myself. Yes, okay. When I put this tweet there. Why do you think they went with Khalil? Like, what, what's your guess on this? Do you think it's because it's more entertaining? No, 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 no f***ing idea. I don't know. You tell me, because I, you know, I'm confused. I, what the f***, you know? Why they book Ankalaev with the Rakic? Why? Why they don't ask me about this? Maybe, maybe I will be ready for, for, for uh, you know, a uh, little bit earlier. Nobody asked me. I, 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 just, I, I just don't understand. For me, it's weird, uh, like, you know. And this don't make any sense for me. It's like, like, I, like I say in, on internet, it's like I feel like special, you know, protection for 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 uh, for Pereira. I, I I don't understand. He why? <laughs> well, that that was going to be my question. Do you think do you think they're kind of protecting Pereira because he's fighting another striker again? Like it seems like that's been a lot of his opponents. Yuri, Jamal, these are more strikers than grapplers or wrestlers. And and we saw what happened when he fought you. It was a closer fight. You know, you know. I believe I say always the same. I believe that I want this fight against him, and they maybe they you know they don't want to make this fight again because no, they know that this time he will, he gonna lose for one hundred percent. Maybe also that's why they don't want to give he, Ankalaev to him because Ankalaev is also very strong. You know, uh, maybe this is the reason that uh, Kale is a striker, and maybe they won't make you know another you know nice win for him. Easy, maybe not easy, but you know, another you know, knockout to win, something like this. I, I, I just don't understand. Okay, well, I have another theory, and I want, I want you to get your thoughts on this, and, and you let me know if you agree or not. So I think there's two things that I think made this fight happen. Number one is, I think the UFC believes that Khalil Roundtree and Alex Pereira is going to be more of an exciting fight than Mega Man and Kalaev and Alex Pereira. So I think that's the first point. Here's my second point. I think no matter what, the UFC wanted Mega Man and Kalaev on UFC 308 because it's in the Middle East. He's obviously Muslim and Dagestani, and they want big Dagestani names on that card as well. And I don't think they were going to make Pereira fight him in Abu Dhabi. So I think they just gave him Rakic instead. I don't agree with it, but what do you think of that theory as to why the UFC did that? I don't know. If they want big name, I think they can make, uh, you know, Ankalaev with Pereira right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the, the Ankalaev will be ready also for, for, for another UFC in the... Uh, uh, the place where you say I don't remember where we're gonna be in Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, yeah, because you you know they always put like a big. It, it's it's kind of it, it brings me back to like when they gave Ikram Robert Whitaker, right? Like they obviously want to have like big name, exciting Dagestani fighters on that card. I think they know everything. You know what they want to do. They was they just want to do this and they did. You know, uh, they are you know. I think they they've got you know special. They got you know something in the they had like one year. To, into the future, something like this. So I think they, they, they already know what they want to do. Do you think it makes it worse, the fact that Khalil Roundtree is coming off a, a suspension uh, as well and getting a title shot because of that? Do you think that adds to this being a worse situation? You know, it's, for me, it's a weird situation. I just don't understand. I don't know why they're doing that. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. they will explain. Uh, someone will tell me why. Uh, it's not fair also. I just don't get it. I am a little bit disappointed. But it is what it is, and, and what can I do? I can just, you know, say something, and, and that's it. Uh, and, and just to have to wait a little bit longer, that's it. When was the last time you spoke to the UFC? I know you were there in July in, in Vegas, but uh, when, when was the last time you spoke to them? I don't know, like a week ago, maybe two. Oh, really? One, okay. one week ago. Okay, well, that's interesting that they spoke to you, but they didn't mention a possible opponent. I just say that they are going to be ready in uh, December. Okay. Uh, and also, I hear the Pereira after uh, after the Prohaska fight also say that he will want to next fight in December. And now they make uh, his fight a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, his management say something about me, but uh, you know now it's just. 
who 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 uh, I, who's, oh, oh, pr prayers <laughs> management yeah they say something like like this that maybe they make a rematch against me but you know that was some okay uh, yeah how do you think Pereira and Khalil Roundtree will go now that it's booked do you think Khalil can you know win it's booked it's, it's a fight so everything could happen but you know on paper I don't I don't know how Roundtree can win against him what he have to do you know I just don't see that he he won this fight so uh, but you know it's a fight so um, everything could, could happen mm -hmm. but uh, I I see that Pereira won this fight and I don't know like KO in second round okay that's fair um so if you're not next for Pereira do you think a fight with you what, what do you think makes sense for you next is it Jamal Hill me, Yuri Prohaska? Sense, like Hill or uh, Prohaska okay are you worried though Yuri's talked about maybe going down to middleweight do you do you feel like maybe that fight won't happen if he wants to go down to one we will see you know I think the Yuri is in the dark place right now so I hope so he will come back mm -hmm. uh, and we make this this fight because I think uh, this will be a very good fight, very exciting fight. So if not Pereira, I would like to fight against uh, Prohaska. Somewhere in Europe, you know, that will be very big here. Uh, okay. In Poland or, or maybe in the uh, Czech Republic, it will be great. Great event. Well, I think the UFC set their schedule for the year. I think if you wanted to come back in December, I'm assuming that card would be in Vegas, would be a pay-per-view, and I think they'd want to have you on that. Would you be willing to fight in Vegas? For sure. Vegas is, you yeah. know, one of my favorite places in the world. So <laughs> Yeah, okay. Just, <laughs> Always just kind sure. of like to come back there. Um, do, do, if, if for some reason Yuri isn't next, does Jamal Hill make sense because he's also a former champion and that's a fresh matchup? Of course. Like, I watch, you know, I for me only, Pereira, Hill, Prohaska. I don't, you know, anybody else. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that too. Um, what did you think, uh, since we're talking about, um, you know, obviously things that are happening right now in the news, what did you think of Drikas Duplessis submitting Israel Adesanya? You fought him as well. You were one of the few guys to get takedowns. Drikas takes him down and he submits him. What did you think of Drikas' win? Yeah, it was a good fight, very good fight. I didn't expect that. Uh, you know, I think that uh, he's going to win, but Drikas is he's tough. He's very, you know, uh, very weird style. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, you know, very tough weird style of MMA, you know, but it's working. Uh, he know what to do, how to fight, and he just used his style very good. I'm, yes, congratulations to, to, to him. Did you think Duplessis was going to win the fight going into it, or did you think Adesanya was going to win? No, I, I even I, I put money on Adesanya. <laughs> I lost, but you not, mean, not, you not mean too allegedly, much. Because so. obviously, okay. uh, I, I know you guys aren't allowed to bet, so I know allegedly you you uh, you put money on Izzy, right? So yeah, just for you know. Yes, uh, hypothetically. Uh, what, what do you think is next for Adesanya now? He's lost now to Strickland and to DDP. Could you see him moving up to your division, or do you think he'll stay at eighty five? I think he should to stay in eighty five uh, and you know do something, mm -hmm. but we'll see what, what's gonna be his de decision. You know, I'm not in his head. I don't know what he's gonna do right now. We'll see. Maybe he will move to 205, but uh, I don't think so, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's going to be much harder for him than in, you know, 185. But We'll see. Do you, do you think um, Do you think maybe the, the loser of Whitaker and, and Hamzat Chimaev would make sense for him next as far as an opponent? Yeah, for sure. I would like to see these fights also. Uh, but we'll see. You see what's happened, <laughs> what matchmakers do in my division so we'll see what they're gonna do in this division yeah now i will not you know <laughs> everything Can't be surprised by anything right yeah, yeah exactly yeah so so i agree um who do you think wins that fight between shimaev and whitaker it's rebooked obviously they're supposed uh, to fight uh, earlier uh, this year it's gonna be you know i hope so this fight's gonna happen because with shimaev you never know he is always very good uh, but he always not go to the fights <laughs> So we will right. see, but uh, I'm gonna keep my fingers for you know for Whitaker, uh, but it's gonna be a tough fight for him. Okay, so you think Whitaker probably wins that? That makes sense. I would like to. <laughs> well, do you think he wins though? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, and he got everything to win this fight. But also, Chima is also very tough mm -hmm. and good fighter, so it's gonna be very tough for him. But I believe that he can uh, stop him. Did you see Pereira's Instagram post after the fight saying he wants to fight Duplessis? I think he just, you know, you know, just want to make some rumors about, you know, after the, the, this fight. He just used this to, to, you know, to, 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 to make people, you know, talking. I don't think so that he will come. He will, he will cut one more time to, uh, you know, to 185. 
Yeah, that, that was going to be what I was going to say. I don't think he ever fights at 85 again. He's too big. Look how big he is he's now. He's too big and, you know, it's, you know, it's every time it's much harder to cut the weight, you know. So uh, every month, uh, you know, every month with, uh, with the age uh, will be older and older will be much, much harder for him. So I don't think so that he will do this anymore. I know we're a few weeks removed and it's not your division, but what did you think of Bilal Muhammad winning the uh, welterweight title over Leon Edwards? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that is fight what was. It, that, that is, uh, he won against uh, Leon Edwards. Eh? This was, yeah, he dominated the fight. Yeah. Uh, I can, you know, I just see the, the result. I don't see this fight, so uh, I cannot, you know, uh, talk too much say right something no, you know yeah, good about fine. the fight because I don't see this fight. I just know that he he is the champion right now. Mm -hmm. uh, he beat him, and uh, yeah, he is the champion. Um, did you see Craig Jones and Gabby Garcia grapple over the weekend? They had obviously a couple. There, I just see the the kiss before fight, <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and the, the the you know the final submission. That's it. What did you think of that? Do you think we'll see more of this type of matchmaking? It's pretty crazy. For well, sure, they... you know people people start people love you know this this kind of you know bullshit. So I think we're gonna see much more this kind of fights, weird fights. Yeah, and then uh, another thing I wanted to ask you about, Francis Ngannou is coming back. He's going to be fighting for PFL against Hanan Ferreira. I don't know if you're paying attention to that at all. How do you think Francis will do in, in his fight for PFL? Yeah, I'm curious how he's going to look after, you know, uh, he, he, he don't fight in MMA uh, you know, a long time. Uh, he trained boxing, so we will see how he's going to look right now in, in MMA. So I'm curious uh, how he's going to look. So, but, you know, I think he he's he going to beat him. Uh, do you think John Jones fights Stipe this year? Do you think that happens? You know, it's <laughs> hard question. You never know. He, for me, John Jones is the, is the same case like Conor McGregor. If he don't step inside the cage, I will not, you know, believe that fight will happen. You know, yeah, I will believe that fight with uh, John Jones uh, will will happen when he is inside the cage and the cage is, uh, octagon is closed. Okay. Then I okay, this fight will make. They will start fighting soon. But and and that, be, that, that, that comes to my follow-up question. Do you think McGregor fights again? No, I, I think he, he will not fight anymore. You know, not in MMA for sure. I don't believe that he will come back. You know, he's got different life right now. Uh, his businessman got, you know, different things to do. Enjoying the life he deserves. What, what sleep score did you get on your watch last night? Ah. Armin. Very bad because uh, I don't know why. I was in mountains. I come back very tired. The, the weather is very hot in Poland right now, so it was like sixty-seven. Okay, I got eighty-nine last night. I'm getting better. Still don't beat my record, ninety-eight. I, I got a hundred one time. You have what? Okay, sorry. I, I think I think. Hold boss. on. No, 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 no. Let, let me check. I th I might still have it on my phone somewhere. No, <laughs> okay. No, it was ninety-nine. Look at this. 99, so still a little bit better. Okay, so we're, we're, we're the same. Still better. We're even. For anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, Jan and I both have Garmin watches, and every interview I yeah. ask him what his sleep score is, so uh, so, so that's good. Um, I recommend Garmin, by the way. If, if they're watching yeah, this, Garmin, give us a sponsorship, okay? It would, it would be great. Um, and, and, <laughs> my, uh, yeah, and my last question, uh, you're wearing the Super Mario Brothers uh, shirt. Um, when was the last time you played Super Mario Brothers? Uh, when was the last time when I played Super Mario? 20 years ago, maybe more. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while because they, you know, they, they have new systems now where you can play the no, old games. No, sorry. Yeah. In Vegas, I I, I buy in, in in the gallery some, you know, like like video games like this, and that was like one thousand, you know. Oh, one thousand retro games. games. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I play like uh, before uh, before Uncle I have, Yes. Yeah. So okay. like you know, yes. Now I remember that I still I, I need to connect this. I still got it somewhere. You got it exactly. I like just fifty bucks, you. I give it for for that. It was like one thousand retro games in that. You know, that's smart. Have you ever beaten the game? Uh, sorry. Have you ever beat Super Mario Brothers? Have you gotten to the final boss? Yeah, of course, many times. Okay, there we go. So I I just wanted to make sure because some you people are like never like in normal way. Also, we've got like a lot of you know. Uh, no, no, you could do the warps. Secret, you know, yeah, you, you, could, you could you could do the warps of, uh, and skip levels. ahead. So yeah, many times. Okay. 
or well, that that's uh, that's good to know. So UFC champion and has beat Super Mario Brothers. You got to put that on on your resume when it's all said and done. <laughs> so I think it's important. Yes. Jan, thanks for doing this. I got to let everyone know we literally did this at the last minute. So I really appreciate you making time. I know it's late there. Uh, if there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. You know, I just want to thank the fans for from all over the world for supporting and just just wait for my return. It will be great. Uh, just, 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 just wait, and you will see the legendary Polish power again.